what's up y'all it's me sierra and this video today is me showing you how i made my own oh fur slides um it's not fur it's actually feathers i'm gonna show y'all what i use okay. okay i'm just here home alone missing you Just like this you will need this you will also need a pair of scissors like so and you'll also need a glue gun right like this i don't know about y'all but i'm very very cheap and i'm not going to spend that much so the video that i'm doing today will show you how to achieve that look for under at least 20 dollars you have old nike slides or old like cheap slides that you don't want anymore it's easy to do it on those i will show you the slides that i did use in this video as well um i hope that you guys enjoy this video like comment and subscribe show it to everybody the glue gun is ready right now my main focus is gluing on the slide so y'all i just realized that my slide was talking so what I had to do was take the glue stick and literally glue the sides of the slide so that they were no longer talking. Cause you could like see them lifting up on the side and that's ratchet. So I really had to get that glue gun and secure them sides baby because no. So after I put the glue on, I'm just going ahead and pressing down to secure that it stays. And then the side of the glue that is on the outside, I'm squishing that down as well. Cause I just want to know for a fact that it's not going to come loose because no, I cannot walk around with talking slides. That's one thing I don't want. So I'm doing the other side as well because you could see how I was lifting up. That's a hot mess. So I had to correct it. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up the boa, which was $5.99 at Joanne's Fabric. Um, and I just want to pick that up. That piece was from the last slide. I measured the top part first, which is like the rim of the slide. And I cut it. And then I'm just going to add the glue to the rim of that and just get started. I like to place it that way because I want it to be very poofy and full. And why not start at the very rim? That way I know that, okay... This slide is going to be full from the beginning. So that's why I'm outlining that rim part first. A lot of people do them differently, but the way that I handle this one is literally doing the rim of the slide first. And now I'm just taking that um, piece of the boa and there's like a there's like a piece that holds everything together. I'm literally pinching that onto the glue and I'm taking my hand from the inside of the slide and I'm pinching it to make sure that it's staying. It's very hot so you would have to be careful not to burn your hand. It's very easy to burn your hand um, doing this step because you know you're just wanting to be very careful to make sure that everything is sticking together. And it is, and that's how it looks so far. And that's how we want it to look. So that's how it looks, and then that's how it will look. Okay, so all you're going to do is um, basically repeat the steps and glue the sides down if necessary. Like, if you feel like you need to glue down the sides a little bit more, then you could go ahead and do that using that glue gun and just getting that glue and then pinching that down as well. Okay, so now the video is kind of speeding up because I just wanted to let y'all know that it's a repeating process. So you're basically going to do the same thing again, which is gluing it down like in, in a line, basically in rows. So you're doing rows for it. And then don't worry about those sides because we're actually going to cut them sides off. So you won't have to worry about the slides, the, the sides of the slides. Um, that little piece that's sticking out, we just going to get that cut all up and everything will work out at the end, I promise.
So each step is just the same. You're basically just, you know, gluing, pressing, repeat, glue, press, repeat, glue, press, repeat. Um, you're going to do that until you're finished with the entire slide, which is it, it didn't take me long. Like the process altogether took me about 30 minutes um, and I had to do them one at a, like a different time because I didn't realize how much I would need because this is my first time actually making these. And I'm actually going to make more. Eventually, I'm going to make a different color. I'm thinking about doing yellow because I'm not sure if you guys know, but yellow is definitely my favorite color. So the reason why I keep holding up the slide that is already done is because I want to have an idea of how the slide should look. So I'm literally just picking that up to make sure that everything goes that way.
Okay, so now we're finally at the end, guys. And how I did the end was basically how I did the beginning. I went on that rim, guys. That rim is very important. So I basically made sure that I went on the rim and um, to make sure that it was full. It's very important that you do the rim. I'm going to hold it up for you to show you that it's almost done. Have to do that rim part and we'll be done. Because the other one is completely covered because that rim was done. So that's why it's very important. They should not see any black at all. So you should always cover up the rim. And I'm just showing you what it would look like if the rim was covered. And uh, let's see. Getting that last. I think that's second to last row done. That second to last row, getting that one done for you guys. But it's super easy. It's just messy. Um, one thing I will say is because it is feathers, those feathers will get everywhere. When I had a, my 21st birthday party, I created, I recreated a, a look that Trina wore in the 90s and I had a boa that I had to like sew around my, like I, like a, around the jacket that I had made. So I was sewing that and it was feathers everywhere for days. And this is the same process. Like it's, it's feathers everywhere. I'm still like trying to get them off of my floor. So it, that's kind of what is going on with that. And then I did it on a rug that I didn't care about because I knew that it was going to be kind of messy. it back that's the last part of the slide um i'm showing you how full it looks now and that i need to apply one more so i'm taking the glue gun and i'm cutting the boa so that i can apply that last part to the rim and here's the final look two perfect slides uh -oh. i hope that y'all enjoyed this video i got more videos coming on the way um please just you know be prepared for those i'm still trying to figure out what and how I want to target my audience because I'm not sure. But thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel anyway. And I hope that you guys like this video.